What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down a game of Mike Marbo, the center from the University of Idaho. Let's take a look at the player profile for Mike Marbo out of Idaho, 6'2", 298, 47 consecutive career starts for the Vandals. He was on the Remington watch list the last four seasons, a 2013 all-independent performer, and last year was first team all Sun Belt Conference. First, we're going to take a look at Mike Marbo's run blocking. What initially stood out to me was his power step and his initial punch. Both are exactly what you want to see from any center prospect as you're evaluating. You see it from Marbo on a very consistent basis down after down. He's able to quickly latch and control, creating creases and lanes for the running back. Now here versus New Mexico State, great combo block with the guard and is able to pin the shade in which allows the back to then burst through a gaping hole it's why i've always been a fan of marble's game because he's a true throwback in the terms of run blocking and a lot of nfl coaches and scouts feel the same way in today's game being able to pass protect is key for an offensive lineman and frankly it is expected because it's one half of the job and marble excels in this area as well what you see is a guy that has great recognition he plays calm and under control and doesn't overextend i like how his hands stay inside and is able to stymie and control the defender his main issues in this department is when he does move his feet his base gets too wide and he'll stay flat footed but more often than not He's playing technically sound in this area and graded out very well. And finally, I wanted to find out if Marbo can move. If you have a center with the ability to get out on pulls, traps, whams, fold blocks, it gives your offense that much more flexibility. Now, while Marbo isn't a great athlete, he's a guy that climbs to the second level very well, whether it's comboing to the back or folding to the second level and getting guys cut or sealing guys at the second level. I think an offensive coordinator will feel very comfortable with Marbo in that respect. So when you combine a guy with the strength of Marbo with the movement skills that he has, you see why he's one of the better center prospects in this year's draft class. A guy with power and mobility is what you want to have on the inside as a pro. So in conclusion, Mike Marble out of Idaho graded out as a fourth round prospect and my 11th rated center in this year's draft class. He's a good all around player that has good all around game in all three aspects of interior offensive line play. He's also a guy with good football IQ and one that should have a very long career as a pro.